Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news China is pressing Australia hard with trade threats to their foreign policy stances. But first up today, we have another dairy auction. The overnight event brought a minorly positive 1% rise in overall prices, underpinned by a rather good recovery in this skim milk powder price. This auction will not change any payout forecast though, but it is satisfying that it comes after two previous declines. All the same, overall prices are now 15% lower than this time last year. And the steam has gone out of yesterday's exuberant rally on Wall Street, but the pattern today is to hold. The S&P 500 is up just 0.2% so far. In the US, housing starts fell 30% from a year ago levels, and building permits granted fell almost 20%. And the latest weekly update of American retail sales has them falling faster than last week, down another 10% this week. But not every retailer is suffering. Giant Walmart is one retailer who has made big gains through the pandemic stockpiling frenzy. In Europe, car registrations in April were down a startling 76%. But economic sentiment indexes have become sharply less negative in the latest survey. And China seems to be stepping up its pressure on Australia via its exports to the Middle Kingdom. First it was barley, now reports suggest that wine and dairy products will soon get the cold shoulder. Products like seafood, oatmeal and fruit could also be subject to stricter quality checks, anti-dumping probes, tariffs or customs delays. There is also talk China's state media may run consumer boycott campaigns of Australian consumer goods. New Zealand exporters will be watching nervously. Wellington is also treading a fine line here. China isn't punishing the Aussie iron ore sector though. The release of the RBA's meeting minutes yesterday has revealed that the regulator is particularly concerned for their commercial property development and landlord sector. US Treasury 10-year yield has held on to most of yesterday's jump, but is back three basis points today to 0.71%. And the gold price is higher today, up $11 to $1,743 an ounce. Oil prices are little change today, the US crude price is holding at just on $32.50 a barrel, and the international price is stable at just on $34.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar is continuing as a strong rise, up another one cent again today, up to 61 US cents. That is a 170 basis point gain since Saturday and erases all of last week's retreat. On the cross rates, we've risen as well, and now up to 93 Australian cents. Against the euro, we're up to 55.8 euro cents. This means our trade weight in index is now at 66.9. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.